Hi, my name is Dr. Charlotte Castle. I'm a neurologist with the ANOVA Neuroscience Institute. I specialize in the treatment of headaches and I'm co-director of our headache program. July 22nd has been designated by the International Headache Society as World Brain Day. And this year, the focus is on migraine headaches. In honor of that, I'd like to take this opportunity to discuss a little bit about how a patient might become diagnosed with migraines and the nature of the disorder. Unfortunately, there's no brain scan or blood test that we can use to absolutely confirm the diagnosis. It's all based on clinical criteria. Migraine is a headache that's typically one-sided, sharp and throbbing or pulsating in nature, moderate to severe in intensity, and usually associated with things like sensitivity to light, sound, nausea, and vomiting. Migraine headaches can be worse with exercise or exertion. Migraines are typically an inherited headache disorder. It's important to know that migraines don't shorten the lifespan, but they can certainly make it more miserable. Unfortunately, migraines tend to affect us at our most productive years, usually between the ages of 20 and 40, and women tend to be more affected than males. There are common triggers for migraines, though everybody can be a little bit different. The most common triggers include alcohol, changes in the sleep pattern, stress, and processed foods. A very small proportion of people with migraines suffer from what we call migraine with aura. An aura is any fully reversible change in vision, sensation, or muscle strength. It's, the typical aura usually begins about 30 minutes prior to the onset of the migraine. And an aura can often be quite frightening. There is some good news though. We are just beginning to understand the nature of the mechanism of migraine and the changes in the brain that precipitate migraine pain. And with that information, we've been able to develop targeted therapies, both to stop migraine once it's started and therapies that can be taken on a regular basis to prevent the migraine from happening. So if you have been diagnosed with migraine, the worst thing you can do is sit at home in the dark and suffer effective treatment options are out there, so I'd encourage you to schedule a visit with your primary care doctor or a neurologist to discuss the most appropriate treatment options for you. Thank you.